Hello everybody, hello everybody, hello everybody. This is going to be a quick video. Just want to talk about um, car insurance. So, for the last year or so, well before that, when Corona kicked in, they kind of cut our insurance out, remember that? When they had us paying like half price or something like that for car insurance. Because we wasn't driving, we wasn't going to work, or whatever, so they cut us some slack. So, since they reinstated it, kind of, within the last year, my insurance went up two times. So, I got two cars that's under my name, insured in my name. So, my insurance is normally about $220. That's how it was, that's what it was before these jumps that I'm about to tell you about. So... Um, it was about 220. So then six months went by, time to renew. It went up to not 620. What I'm saying, two. It was 220. Let's make that clear in case I said 620. It was 220 for two cars. I think I said 220. Anyway, 220 for two cars about a year and a half ago. So that six months went by. It went from 220 to 235 I said okay they trying to get their money back they playing games why they bother me and my cars I ain't been in no accidents leave my car price alone it should be 220 why is it going up instead of going down so 220 to 235 so did that for six months so six months up time to renew it went from 220 to 235 to 255. So within the last year, it went from 220 to 255. So about a $35 jump per month for two cars, same coverage, no accidents at this time or whatever. So I'm like, why is my insurance going up? I thought as you get older, your insurance go down, but I guess that's not the case. So I got in contact with, and this was progressive. I got in contact with Geico. Geico was my original insurance, but they played some games a couple years ago and I dropped them and went to progressive. So I'm with progressive. Now they pissing me off. So I said, let me holler at Geico. Hey Geico, how you? Hey, big head. Hey. So I, I, I did an online quote with Geico. So once you do all that stuff with Geico or any of them, probably they start calling you and all this stuff. So I said, okay, they got my, I got their attention, Geico and them. So let me go back to Progressive, the current one that I have, and see what they up to. And give them one last chance before I jump to Geico. So I call a dude, well, I call a dude, pick up the phone. Oh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to take these liens off your, your car because you got liens against your cars. The liens just don't drop my cards I paid for, but the liens sit there. So I said, okay, maybe we take these liens off of it. Um, it'll do something because I don't have to have the top insurance and all that stuff, which I like full coverage as it's called. So I kind of wasn't worried about the liens being there, so I never bothered it. But I said, well, let me take these liens off. Maybe that'll knock it down. Took the liens off, the names. Um, there was no difference. Tried to play with the numbers, you know, 100,000 collision, 300 covers, you know, bodily injuries or whatever. Uh, you don't really want to drop that. You want to keep full coverage on your glass in case somebody busts your windows. Um, what we can do is, the guy was saying, what we can do is go with the uh, increase in the duct deductible because I got a, a $500 deductible. But he said, well, if you push it up to 1000 That'll knock off about $7 a month um, in your payment. So instead of uh, $255, it'll be about $248 or whatever. No, he said, matter of fact, $7 total for the six months. I'm like, damn, that's only a dollar. Six months, a, a dollar, uh, $7, that's a dollar and 20 cent, dollar and 15 cent. So that's no big deal um, to change. Uh, the deductible from 500 to a thousand not a big change at all so i said man that ain't gonna make no difference keep it at 500 
So he said, well, there's not much I can do. I'm like, all right, bruh. All right, bruh. Let me go holler at Geico. Hey, big head. So he said, well, last thing I can do, he said, I don't know. He said, last thing I can do, I can send you to our credit department. I said, credit department? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can deal with the credit department. He said, but it all, you know, depends on your credit score and all. And I said, bro, my credit score is in the 800s. He, I, he probably said to himself, yeah, right. So I said, well, he said, uh, yeah, so we, we could check them out, see what they got to say or whatever. I'll transfer your call. You have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful day, too, because I'm about to get in this credit department behind because they should be looking out for me if. The credit score means anything, as he was saying to me. So I got on the phone with some chick. Let me see if I wrote her name down. What was her name? Damn it, did I write her name down? I think it's on a piece of paper somewhere. Damn it, I have to get the paper. Um, But anyway, maybe I'll make a follow-up video. Anyway, so talked to her on the phone. She already had my information because it's progressive. They already got your social security number. And all. So I'm going to run a, a credit check. And it's going to be a soft credit check. It's not going to um, affect your score probably that much or whatever. Because when they check your credit score, it can knock your point. It can knock points off your score or whatever. So I said, oh, go ahead. If this is going to save me some money, go ahead and do it. He said, um, in, in the meantime, he's like, ah, so how's your day going? Ah, my day ain't going at all. But if you can get my credit score, I mean, get my payments down to what I want will be fine she said okay well give me a minute here I'm loading up the stuff uh, anything else I can help you with nope not at all not at all okay we load it's still loading up so I'm at 255 right now she said oh okay we're all set now it's all set so um Ooh, wow, these numbers, okay, these numbers look good, okay. Um, I can get you, um, your payments to be $220 and some change. I said from 255 to, $255 a month to $220 a month, $35 for my credit score. Make it happen, baby. Make it happen. So what happened was, due to my credit score being good in the 800s, it, it, it benefited me. So anybody like me who thought that credit scores didn't really mean nothing to car insurance, um, were mistaken. I didn't know that. I didn't really pay much attention to it. So with my credit score being at 800, I was able to save about $36 or whatever. So instead of paying the 255, I'm back down to which my original one was, um, 220 and some change or whatever. So maintain your credit score. Um, and if you got a decent credit score, you may be able to call your insurance company. They also say that they won't raise it. If you got a bad score, they're not going to raise it. Like, oh, you got to pay us more. They ain't going to do that. It'll stay where it's at. Or it can get um, chopped down even lower if it's good. So get your credit score checked out. I mean, get your, you know, apply for their credit and see what they say about that. But I never knew that. Anyway, um, that was one of the, I've been out for a couple of days of work. Um, that's been one of the biggest accomplishments I did in these last couple of days. I was in, a, in my uh, my first payment for the new cycle had just started. This was yesterday, the 21st, had just started. So um, instead of paying a 255 because I was pissed for like a month because they give you a month warning that, oh, next month, start next month, your payment's going to be this. I'm like, damn, come on, 255 was doing so good at 224 coverage, two cars or whatever. No big deal. I can I can deal with the two twenty, and it kept going up two thirty five, two fifty five. I said, "Oh, they getting carried away. I gotta do something about this." And I did something about it. Worked out in my favor, so I'm proud of that. Second thing, real quick, um, bus fare. Bus fare is going back into effect on April first, twenty twenty three. The government has 
uh, cut back on that. They have paid enough for the people over these months or years. I don't know how long they've been doing. I don't take the city bus or whatever. But what I wanted to talk about, I was having a conversation with Gilbert on Facebook. And we were talking about, you know, somebody I was talking about. Somebody has to pay for these workers to drive these buses. Somebody has to pay for the maintenance of these buses. Somebody has to pay for the gas and stuff for these buses, the medical insurance, the raises and all that stuff for the drivers of these buses. So the money has to come from somewhere. So what's been going on, the government, uh, what's his name? Ned Lamont and them, governor. Let, let, what's his name? Ned Lamont, I don't even know his name, um, has been paying, the government has been paying for these last couple years. And what that does, they, they've been getting money from COVID, COVID relief money. Because the federal government gives the state government, Connecticut, money. And one way that they were using the money was to um, uh, cut out the bus fare for a while or whatever. But now that things are getting back to normal and people need to get to work and whatever. So now what people was doing was staying home, getting stimulus checks, getting unemployment and all that stuff. So it was actually putting a strain on the the uh the government the the state of connecticut so when they when there's a strain on the state of connecticut they got to cut back somewhere and um and like i say they now the, the kids ain't getting no after school care um something has to cut or whatever so what they found out was that damn we paying a lot of money for these buses so what they got to do is put the bus fare back into the system so that the people, us, could get back to work that like we should be doing. And also, there's some jobs out there that people aren't taking because they're sitting at home. I ain't going to say being lazy, but being lazy. So people got to get up, go to work, pay this bus fare so the price of eggs can go down. Gas prices can go down. The economy won't be, we won't be hearing about this recession and all this other stuff going on. But the reason they talk about recessions and stuff is because the government is footing the bill for a lot of things. And that has to stop. People need to get up and get out. That's why when you go to the restaurant, you're paying much more for food or whatever. Because they got to pay a cook, you know, $40 an hour instead of the $20 that they was paying them. Because it's hard to keep a cook. Because these cooks will get up and leave and go somewhere else. Or waitresses will get up and leave and go somewhere else. So these uh, business owners are trying to keep their businesses afloat. So they got to pay people and, you know, people want money and the price of uh, renting homes or renting apartments is going up. Everything is going up. But the money that people uh, can't afford because they're not working or the, their job, their current job that they had before all this stuff isn't paying them enough because... Everything is going up. Everything is rare, hard to find. That's why it's um, backlog on certain items and supplies are, are low or whatever because people aren't in the factories working. Um, people ain't in the, in the, in the, um, um, uh, the warehouses loading up the shelves. I'm sorry about that. My phone fell. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. So we got to kind of get back to normal so with the government what the government is doing with these bus fares kind of forcing people to get back to work because y'all ain't gonna just be riding and hopping on and off our buses just for the hell of it you get off at get on at one stop get off two stops away or whatever stop and go wear, wear and tail on the brakes and all that stuff or whatever stressing out the workers shout out to Sharonda shout out to uh, Montreal two bus drivers that um uh, 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 having dialogue with about that um, but yeah people got to get back to work I'm sorry you know I ain't gonna say we like handouts but enough is enough people y'all gotta understand how this money game work that's what I try to tell y'all learn this money game y'all have to learn how this economy works and just can't oh man they wrong they... all it's doing is affecting black people because y'all gonna keep voting for these y'all voting for the people that ain't giving y'all nothing. So they, they y'all want something, 
but they ain't giving you nothing but free bus fare. Hey, we looking out for y'all. Hey, we y'all get to ride the bus for free. That doesn't, I ain't going to say it doesn't benefit me, but it doesn't benefit me. Cut some taxes or whatever. Pay, pay, use some of that money to pay for uh, new homes or uh, get rid of the homeless so everybody can have an apartment or whatever. So, um, the politician that you voted for, you know, only giving you a free bus fare, saving you a a dollar twenty-five a month, I mean a week, a day. Come on, that's not enough. Oh, shout out to my sister and her uh, celebrating her 40th anniversary of working, of service at Harper Hospital. Shout out to Tanya, Tanya Michelle. Your your mother would be so proud of you. Um, shout out to my boy Angel, my boy Angel. Hopefully our conversation uh, holds some weight and you continue to do the right thing and be successful. Shout out to Japan. Japan beat um United States in the uh the World Series of Baseball um the other day or probably today, I think, or last night. Um just going through my timeline. But my main points was uh, my credit score did help me get um lower uh premiums on my car insurance, my car's insurance. Um like I said, shout out to Dwayne Morris. I called him Mr. Moore. Hey, Mr. Moore. He looked at me like I was crazy. Saw him downtown. Shout out to Beverly Mons. Saw her downtown as well. She didn't remember who I was, but that's okay. Those are my elders, and I'm showing them nothing but respect anyway. Yo, what up with Zeke? Zeke is gone. God damn, that's amazing. Zeke isn't with the Cowboys no more. Fly World, Tyrell Roberts was goody. Um, but that's about it. That is about it. Shout out to Mari. Shout out to Maria Gomez taking pictures with your mother. As I talked about the other day, that's, uh, I think it's a very important thing to do. Get some family photos. Shout out to Rocky. Rocky De Jesus. He was at the barbershop today with his mother. It was, ha- I was, I was happy to see Rocky. I spent some time chatting with his mother. Of course, you don't remember us or whatever. You know, the people getting old and we were kids. We, we ain't care about who your mother was. We was outside balling me and Elliot and Irma and, uh, 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 Eva and Rocky. Shout out to Rocky and his mother. I saw them today. Shout out to Chev. Me and Chev had a good talk this afternoon. But anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to holler at y'all about car insurance. Take advantage of it. Make sure your credit score is all right. And I will holler at you guys later. Peace.